Aloha, hey, it's Julie Zimelis, 365 Hawaii, and I'm here today with Lance Owens, who is with Luva Realty, and he's also the president of the West Hawaii Association of Realtors. And I say that because he has a very important issue that he's going to be discussing today that will affect homeowners on Hawaii Island. So, I want to show you guys. Ready? Rick from the headlines. <laughs> we are going to be talking about cesspool conversions at point of sale. Lance? <laughs> All right, we're going to jump into this real quick. So there's been two bills introduced this year uh, to the state legislator, and both of them um, were introduced to have the, um, at point of sale, you would have to convert your home from a uh, cesspool to either septic or hook up to, uh, to a sewer line. So mm -hmm. uh, on the big island, we only have, I think, two sewer lines in the whole island. So really that's out of the picture. We can't hook to the, to the sewer line. So basically it would be a... Um, putting in a new septic system, which uh, the state in its own right, which is usually not not up to par on, on numbers, it seemed to actually be pretty good. They put the median um, price of a cesspool at $23,000 and uh, a difficult one up to as high as 38000 so I, I was being kind and using twenty thousand. I should probably use twenty five thousand or thirty thousand. Yeah, because we were using twenty thousand for the last few years when we talked yeah. about it. But now the price of you know, supply machinery, and demand, supply and demand, machinery, uh, labor, yeah, fuel, all these prices go up. You know, these guys. I know when I had an excavator on my property, I was paying five hundred dollars an hour um, oh. for that. So you can just imagine, you know, what the fuel costs and the things that those guys are running. So everything's gone up. So so twenty five thousand dollars would not be a, an unheard of number for everybody to do that. So. So the way this was written, it would start in 2024. So, and boy, did I get some flack back at this because the name of the bill is cesspool conversion at point of sale. That's all I bring up, it's cesspool conversion at point of sale. When this bill was introduced, um, the public got pretty upset and they started reaching out to these legislators and saying, hey, 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 no, you can't do that point of sale. And of course, realtors did um, in a full-blown uh, fashion. You know, it's like, you can't make this a, re a realtor responsibility. You know, we're not here to, to police if people are putting in their cesspools or not putting them in and, and do this type of thing. So, so a big pushback from, from realtors, but it, it, it's for homeowners and property rights. You know, people don't have that $25,000 to just go put in um, into their cesspool and septic to have that conversion done. So, you know, when we reached out and did that, um, they kind of backed off and they said, you know what, okay, we won't make it at point of sale, we'll make it within 12 months of point of sale. Well, that made it worse. Because then who's going to check that? Who's going to check that uh -huh. and who's going to loan on that, okay? Oh, Nobody's yeah. going to make a loan on a property that's flagged for a $20,000 upgrade in the next year. It's mm -hmm. like trying to get a condo that's going to have a $20,000 assessment on it. That's basically what it is. Yeah. So by, by throwing us that bone and saying, here you go, guys, you know, here you go, realtors, we won't make it a point of sale. We're going to let you have it um, within a year. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that, that actually hurt, hurt it. So, um, you know, looking at the sheer numbers when we did present it to them at point of sale, I just said, you know what, let me... Jimmy, you never reached out to the real estate community. You never talked to us. You never said, you know, what would this entail, you guys, if we wanted to do this? So um, we went to them and we said, you know, you really should, our doors open all the time. You guys should come over. You should talk to us about this. We can help you with it. We may not like your answer. You may not like our answer, but we're here to work together professionally and see, what, see an answer. So mm -hmm. I pulled up these numbers. As of today, right now on the Big Island, there's uh, about 971 uh uh, home transactions happening right now in the Big Island. So that's either they're active, they're in escrow, they're under contract. So of those, 618 of them would have to be converted before they closed. So the typical closing is 45 days. We'll just use that number. So you got 618 cesspools on an island that would have to be done in, in 45 days. It's virtually impossible. I don't think you could get 60 done in that amount of time. Mm -hmm. there's, there's guys I know... You know, we've, we had to do one on a home last month, and it took us weeks to just get it. It was just kind of a repair on one. Yeah. Um, there's guys waiting for just the caps. They broke a cap on one, and it's going to be a three, four week. Might be oh, because the, um, the distribution process, I mean, because yeah. of COVID, that's another manufacturing of the, of the, yeah. of the, of the pieces, too, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So wow. we don't have any on island. Mm -hmm. We're shy parts. Uh, container ships are backed up. Everything's backed up. It's, there's no way that we could get 60 a month done, you know. Yeah. So to so do 618... It's kind of crazy, and then it's going to be so. So that first 618 would be taking active contingent under contract. After we got all that squared away, we would probably be at about 200 a month to 220 somewhere in there yeah. a month on that. So uh, ongoing. So at the end of the year, instead of instead of just having 
you know, um, 618 to start with in 200 a month. Now we've got 2,500 done at, to do at the end of the year. And none of these people are going to get it done. Right, be right. A handful that can do it. Yeah. So what the banks do is, a, you know, the bank's problem with it is, again, is what homeowner is going to buy a brand new home and have 20 grand extra cash laying around to get this done? Especially within, in a hot market like yeah, now where yeah. they're basically blowing all their cash out to get the yeah, house. Yeah, they're paying, you know, top dollar for the homes mm-hmm. right now. So they wouldn't be able to do that, um, and and so um, the the uh, bank flags that like that's a risky loan. I don't think we want to do those. Mm-hmm. And the next part of the step is what happens in a year when it's not done. The state starts levying fines on the property. Oh, then the fines go up and they become liens. Oh and boy, the, and the liens um, go first before the bank's mortgage. Right, because you know, it's the, a federal yeah, state experience. State yeah, taxes. So, wow. um, so it would. It would be a nightmare to do that. Okay, so that was their first, um, their first bone they threw us. So that made it worse. The second one they threw us that they that they keep telling us that they've done for us is, they said, you know what, we're we're going to slow that down. You're right, six hundred eighteen's a, a a whole bunch of um, that's a lot of numbers. We didn't know that. Sorry, we introduced this bill, but we never thought yeah. about. Wait, can I stop you just for a second there? Yeah. Um, what's also happening? Because um, I listen to this people today. This is very true that these bills are being developed in the halls of Oahu where they don't have the cesspool issue that we have on our island. So they're only having to convert a few where we, they don't even know that we have hundreds because we're more rural island. Yeah. And if you didn't know also, one of the reasons this is an issue, guys, is um, they dug cesspools because there wasn't that many people who used to live here. And making a cesspool is a heck of a lot easier than trying to, to, to create sewer laterals and get it to your local wastewater treatment plant, which we don't really even have after you leave South Kona. So this is an issue that really affects the rural islands the rural, on, yeah. in, in, the, in, the, in the chain, yeah? Yeah, let me throw some, some real life numbers at you on that. So, so the island of Oahu, um, 3% of the households are on cesspool there, 3%. And of those, I'm sure every single one of them probably got a sewer line running down the street. They've just never converted. So that would be easy there. On the big island, 60% of the households are on cesspool. 60%. 60%. And we have over 200,000 people live on this island. Mm-hmm. 60%. So almost two in every three homes would have to be converted. Right. And then uh, to be fair on the environmental side of life mm-hmm. is that what's happening now is that they're doing um, uh, water testing and they're thinking, you know what, if we don't cap this mm-hmm. going into the ocean, it's gonna, you know, it's just it's, it's, it's time to clean the water up. And so their, their whole concept was is environmentalist. Yes. Right. And, and that's fine. We're realtors. Our kids drink the same water here. They're yeah, right. The it's a way, they're, they're saying, let's, let's not get into the wells, and they're, they're trying to clean yeah. the water up. But the thing is, is like almost anything else in government, it's a vexing issue um, that needs to be looked at a little bit more carefully than what they've been looking at it, because what they're trying to do is create legislation that works for Wahoo, but it doesn't work for Big Island. Yep. And, you know, part of the thing is one of the one of the – this is what has gives me the gravest concern of this all is – um, one of the um, one of the people that drafted Nicole Lowen, she's our um, representative here on the Big Island that introduced HB um, 1805. So um, the person that drafted that for her um, d- openly put in articles that he came up with this ideal to start this new septic or this new wastewater initiative program while he was in this cesspool working group. So this is a cesspool working group that was uh, developed when the law was done and uh, where these have to be converted by 2050. This group's report is due out by the end of this year. Oh, that's right. So why do these special interest groups not want the report to come out? They're trying to bypass the report coming out. Which costs start... how many, like millions of dollars yeah, to put together? Yeah, we spent millions. We're in the fourth year and it's in this this working group who had this person in it, Nicole in it, and, and uh, an HR, HAR director, you know, kind of looking out for the realtors, but they had an engineer. They had somebody from the county planning. They had all these people that said would work this out together mm-hmm. and say, here's a reasonable thing. So why are they pushing this to get done before, yeah, before. before the report comes out? The report's due out. A, it's a four-year report. We're three years and three months into it. Why are you not waiting for it? Why are you pushing legislation through? You know, the biggest thing I see, the special interest group, you know, they've created a company that's going to be at the forefront of a $2 billion industry when it comes up. Yeah, so, yeah. you know, I, I don't know, but I know that that, that working group uh, has had issues with uh, ethics. With ethics, uh, They've arrested a senator that was in that group for taking bribes to, to influence the whole thing. So really, this should be... Um, this should be taken off all the tables. So, yeah. it does look like one of them? Nicole's bill is going to um, going to fall by the wayside this week. Um, the other one is uh, Senate Bill three eighty six, and that one's pushing forward. Uh, so again, 
they started to throw us that bone of, of well, it's only going to be a thousand feet of waterways. Right. Well, so, a, a thousand feet away from the ocean. That's the a waterways. That, you mean like any type of a any stream? Type. So, too. so they say the ocean oh. is what they start out with, but then it goes on to say or per- perennial streams, wells, um, how about underground aquifers, water tubes? things like that. So, yeah. yeah so, so okay, it so it's everywhere. Up. Okay. So, so, so they're saying that that, that we're only going to do it within a thousand feet of shorelines, and you'll see they always mention. You know, they, they, they emphasize a thousand feet of shoreline, or now now it'll be a five hundred feet of shoreline. But this whole thing's I've got the maps. I've written a, um, an article on LinkedIn. You should really go look at that because it has the maps on it. It, it tells it about. We'll it. drop so, um, the link inside the, link, um, the YouTube yeah. channel and also over in Facebook. Yeah. So if you look at that, so there's probably still about two thirds of these homes that fall in their special areas that mm. they list. So it's still. So we don't got to do six hundred this month. We got to do four hundred. We got to do four hundred fifty. I don't know, but it's a it's a huge number. Yeah. So, uh, it's yeah. important. Um, and again, when they bring this stuff in several miles inland, it's not, you know, again, most people right off the bat, they say, oh, it's the thousand feet. So people along the Lee Drive, their homes are worth two or three million. They can afford it's, it. it. It's nothing. For Even them though there's spend. no room on their property yeah. now to go in there and dig a cesspool out. So right? so, right. And if you take all this money and if you just spend it on some infrastructure to, to pump it into actually a wastewater treatment plan, because there's a lot of studies that say really the septic is not much better than a cesspool. Right. Um, so, but that's not our argument here. You know, we right. want clean water. We want that to happen, yeah. but we want it done wisely. And, and this group has been working on it for, for close to four years, three, a little over three years now. Yeah. So um, they need to wait. They need to wait for that. These bills need to come off. Um, and you're, you're saying not, because okay, another thing, when we first started talking about this, they had said 2050 to start with, remember? The 2050, 20. they have it all done by 2050. Yeah. And that seemed like a very long time ago. And kicking the old can down the old street there for yeah. many, many years. So now what you're saying is not the fact that you want to table this thing for 2050. It's the fact that let the working group come out with what their recommendations Responsible are. Responsible. And then make a plan based forward. on facts. Yeah. If you look at some of these concentrated areas that they're calling, um, that are areas that, that are um, have to be done right away, mm-hmm. there's a huge concentration of homes in those areas. So those are the ones, instead of putting in, you know, 10,000 cesspools, maybe they should look at a wastewater treatment plant in that area. Yeah. We have to 2050 to do it. Which costs like over a million dollars. More than that. How many millions of dollars does it make a wastewater treatment plant? You know, I, I, don't, I don't know that, but I just added up the cesspools that need to be done yeah. here. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, that's times. Two, two billion. It's a little over two billion dollars. Oh, okay. 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 And so they're looking to do tax incentives <laughs> oh, and credits. Yeah, I guess that's like a, that. so. So, because um, they could be doing a special use district fee, they do that in California mm-hmm. when the whole area needs something. Yeah. Then they all just have to pay into it, and they just get it handled, right? You get it. You 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 pay in an extra hundred dollars a month for ten years or something like and that then to do for it. it. But it's a lot better than going to those people and saying you need twenty five thousand dollars and yeah. dig up your yard before you can sell your home. Yeah. In in this new bill, what it does is it, it attaches it a transfer of title. So a lot of people say, well, yeah, I had to transfer it when I sell it. No, if you get a divorce and you and your wife, you know, are probably fighting over money, is why you're getting a divorce. And now who's got the twenty five grand to go put in a cesspool because you can't transfer it to the other spouse? No, until you put the cesspool. Until in, you yeah. put the cesspool in. And the same so, thing I think I said too. If you create a uh, trust, a trust. Uh, if you give it to your kids if you leave it to a church whatever you may want to do we had that one guy leave the property to the dog park you know i mean there's before you can do any of that stuff it has to be converted so my 618 number you know i'm not an expert to tell you how many people get divorced and transferring titles in the year but but um they they need to know that number before they put out legislation like this so it's important so um one of the things that happened today was um, the association of realtors had um asked um the realtors to reach out to um the public uh, to let them know about what's going on here. And um, also uh, people who are potential homeowners here in Hawaii, because it will affect you eventually. And um, for the real estate uh, people that we have over on the Facebook group, um, some of these people have already bought homes. And you you might be affected too when you try and sell your house. Yeah. So this has a lot of effect for a variety of people. So um, the Association of Realtors had said uh, the best way to try and maybe help this along is to write a letter, submit uh, testimony. Public, yeah. Excuse me, public, public to... testimony. Um, write a letter to these to the people that put it. Even the people, if you're if you bought here recently, you know, even if you don't live here, you should write a letter to whoever your representative is, you know. And um, I I'll send you those lists of every representative statewide. Yeah. Okay. And so yeah. you recognize the ones in your area again. 
even if you're not a voting member here, you should still write that person a letter because... You might be coming. Um, you might be coming. <laughs> Two-thirds of all homes on the Big Island are on cesspool, um, so it, it will affect right. a lot of people. Right, right. And, and in the end, the, the buyer is going to be... It's going to be $23,000 that the buyer is going to uh, end up paying for it. You know, it's funny when I posed their... Um, the addition of the year and explain to them why they said, well, why don't you guys just negotiate that in the sale? So now they want me to negotiate how, how, they, how it gets switched out. Gets well, changed. and also um, this also affects homes that you might be considered kind of affordable because they're yep. older homes and you've been around for a lot longer. Yep. So those, that's a less expensive housing stock than some of these houses that have been recently built in neighborhoods that already have that all taken care of. Right. Right. So now that also affects the home ownership experience for people who could have afforded a $600,000 house. Now they're asking for $25,000 more to change it, right? Exactly. So exactly. it kind of affects the, 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 the populace on this island that actually needs to have the house, not have the extra $25,000 experience on it, right? Yep. Yeah, and, so. and, you know, like we said earlier, you know, you can't get a loan on it. But, you know, I forget because I've been, I've given this speech at the state level, at the local level, uh, at the, at the board level. Um, lots of different levels here. So I think we talked about um, not being able to get a loan on it already. Right? Yeah, we did. Yeah, yep. so, yeah, yeah. so one of the things I looked at is, so the median price for West Hawaii here is a million one twenty five right now. Okay. The median price for the, um, for the state is, I don't have a paper, but roughly around 540, I think is the median home price for the state. Do you know that uh, about 40% of those homes were, um, uh, that are on cesspool are actually priced under $500,000. Wow. wow. So it's not the top. It, it, it's a lot of those uh, homes. They've got studies of how much of it, you know, is considered, you know, what their people are making in the, in mm -hmm. the different levels. All that's been worked on with this working group to see, you know, we're going to get grants. Who gets yeah. grants? Who's going to get tax credits? Who's going to get this and that? Mm -hmm. And instead, this special interest groups, they want to come in and just bypass all that and just make it mandatory. Just so happens that they did create a company a couple of years ago that is specializing in cesspool conversions. Welcome to politics. Yeah. There's a question. Uh, Kevin says, if you want a larger bedroom, but do not do do not do nothing to the bathroom addition, would that trigger a cesspool upgrade? So bedroom count is what it is. So if you're just making it bigger, that shouldn't affect it. If you're making it, um, if you're adding on room, they're going to say, because you could have 50 bed bathrooms in a one bedroom home. They know there's only going to be one or two people using all 50 bathrooms. So, but if you got a 50 bedroom house in one bathroom, they're gonna say you need to handle 50 people yeah, with yeah. that. So they're, you're gonna need that type of a, a cesspool. That's their, their septic tank. Yeah. So this reason. is gonna be triggered also when someone like, you know, Kevin wants to add a bedroom, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden you go to get your, your permit pulled and they say, oh, you're gonna have a bedroom. Oh, it looks like you're gonna get, you have to change your cesspool up. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. And a big problem too that we're running into, the state had a flood years ago and, um, they lost a lot of cesspool septic tank um, documents. Mm. So there's a ton of people like that. All the Kamani trees, I think all of their stuff's gone. So every time somebody wants to do something there, they've got to pay a contractor to come out, locate their, their tank to see where it's at before they can get the permit to, and do it. So they're, they're all, they've been pushing things. You know, we've had to have clients that have had to upgrade, yeah. you know, as they've done things along the way. So, so they're moving in that direction. Um, yeah. Wow. But yeah. It's all affected. Well, yeah. Okay. Any other questions? Okay. So, um, again, um, you know, we're just basically, today was about, uh, you know, basically kind of like protecting homeowner rights and uh, jumping in where realtors are trying to protect the, uh, the you know, the, the